Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakashan Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design Lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line at 2.4 GHz operating frequency with FR4 substrate. So first calculate the dimensions of the Lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line using online calculator. So now here I am considering FR4 substrate and its relative permittivity constant value is 4.4 and height of the substrate I am considering 1.6 mm and the operating frequency is 2.4 GHz and 50 ohm transmission line and lambda by 2 transmission line the electrical length is 180 the electrical length is 180 for lambda by 2 transmission line press the synthesize the width of the transmission line is 3.058 mm and length of the transmission line is length of the transmission line is 34.24 mm so these are the calculations of the lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line so now open ansys electronic desktop hfss software first save the project so right click on the project select save as button so give the project name and the name of the project is MSTL microstrip transmission line underscore lambda by 2 underscore 2.4 giga hs so this is my project name click the save button so project is successfully saved and the dimensions for, for calculate the dimensions of the ground plane and substrate so now we are the the length of the microstrip transmission line is 34 okay so the ground plane length is 34 mm and width of the microstrip transmission line i am considering half of the length so 34 by 2 is 17 mm so the length and width of the microstrip transmission line i am considering width of the width and length of the ground plane and substrate dimensions are 17 mm and 34 mm so select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet in the plane so give the rename of the rectangular sheet double click on the rectangle one this is the ground plane gnd now change the dimensions of the rectangular sheet and x axis that is the width of the ground plane and y axis that is the uh, length of the ground plane so length is 34 mm and the width is half of the I, I am considering half of the uh, that length 17 mm and axis is along the z axis and the position and the x position is half of the x size before representing negative sign so 17 by 2 is 8.5 before representing negative sign 8.5 x position and y position is half of the y size now here the y size is 34 and half of the y size is 17 before representing negative sign minus 17 mm z position is 0 mm so press the ok button select fit all so this is the ground plane so on the top of the ground plane we can design substrate so take the select the box and draw the box in the plane so give the rename of the box one and this is substrate and change the type of the material here i am selecting the type of the material is fr4 epoxy fr4 epoxy press the ok button so now change the dimensions of the substrate the diamond the length and width of the 
substrate is same as that of the ground plane and the ground plane length is 34 mm x size is 34 mm and uh, x size is 17 mm and z size and height of the substrate I am considering 1.6 mm and position and x position is half of the x size minus 8.5 mm and y position half of the y size minus 17 mm and z position is 0 so press the ok button and this is the ground plane and this is the substrate on the top of the substrate on the top of the ground plane we can design substrate and after that design microstrip transmission line on the top of the micro on the top of the substrate we can design microstrip transmission line select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet in the plane and give the rename of the rectangle one so this is microstrip transmission line and now change the dimensions of the rectangular sheet and the length of the rectangular sheet is 34 mm for lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line the length is 34.24 mm so I will take round figure 34 mm and x size x is the width and the width of the uh, lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line is 3.05 mm 3.05 mm I am considering round figure 3 mm and axis is z axis and position and x position is half of the x size now where the x size is 3 and half of the x size is 1.5 before representing negative sign minus 1.5 mm and y position is half of the y size minus 17 mm and z position is and now the substrate height is 1.6 mm so that uh, microstrip transmission line is located on the top of this substrate and the z portion is 1.6 mm so press the ok button ok now here yeah. microstrip transmission line and y position is minus 34 y position is minus 34 sorry and uh, length of the transmission line is 
Select the rectangular sheet, draw the port in XZ plane. So give the re rename, this is port1. And change the dimensions of the port 1. So the port 1 dimensions, uh, the transmission line width is 3 mm, X size and Z size. And uh, height of the substrate is 1.6 mm and axis is along the X axis. And position, X position is half of the X size and uh, Y position is length of the transmission line that length of the transmission line is 34 mm and half of that value is minus 17 mm and uh, jet portion is 1.6 so now where the jet size is minus 1.6 mm so press the ok button so this is the port 1 so now select the port 1 assign plumped port excitation Select the port 1, right click on that port 1, go to assign excitation, select plumped port excitation. So full port impedance is 50 ohm. Press the next button. So take the new line integration, draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port. So in the lower port, wherever the triangle appears, select that position. So draw the line to the upper port. So, in upper port, wherever the triangle appears, click that portion. So, the port, uh, port is successfully defined, excitation is successfully defined. Press the OK button. Click finish button. So, port 1 is successfully assigned. Now, as next assign port 2. Select the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet in YZ plane. So give the rename of this rectangular sheet. Double click on the rectangular one. This is port 2. And select the rectangle uh, port 2. Right click on the port 2. Go to assign excitation. Select lumped port. So click the next button. So take the new line. Draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port successfully defined select finish button so port 2 is successfully defined now coming back to the xy plane and assign the radiation box so draw the radiation box so radiation box is drawn in XY plane. Select the box in XY plane. So give the rename of this box one. Radiation box. And select, I, I will change the type of the material is I am considering air material. And transparency is 0 0.9. So now change the dimensions of the radiation box. So now where the length of the uh, microstrip transmission line is 34 mm. And the width, uh, length of the ground plane is 34 mm. And width of the ground plane is 17 mm. So I am considering the X size. X size is the length of the width of the ground plane. I am considering two times of the ground plane length, ground plane width. So ground plane width is 17 mm. So two times is 34 mm. And Y size, that is the length of the ground plane. So length of the ground plane is 34 mm. I am considering two times of the length of the ground plane, 68 mm. And Z size is 34 mm. And position, X position, Y position, Z position. And X position is half of the X size. 
minus 17 mm and half of the y portion minus 34 mm and z portion is minus 17 mm so press the ok button so this is the structure of the lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency now assign the solution setup go to the simulation select setup go to the setup select advanced so now the operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz i am considering the number of processor 12 so maximum delta s is 0.02 so press the ok button and this window will appear now where i am selecting the sweep type is fast and my operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz i am selecting the minimum starting frequency is 1 gigahertz and ending frequency is 5 gigahertz and count is 91 so 1 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz so 91 samples will appear 1 gigahertz to 91 uh, 5 gigahertz 91 samples so press the ok button so now check the validity click the validate so design is successfully validated and now start the simulation so press the analyze all button Simulation is successfully completed. So now observe the results. S parameter, VSWR parameter, Z parameter, and gain radiation pattern, directivity radiation pattern. So go to the results, right click on the result. Select create model solution data report. Go to the create model solution data report select rectangular plot so now you just select s parameter s11 s21 s12 s22 in decibel so click the new report so the s parameter plot will be generated so mark the designated operating frequency so designated operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz So at 2.4 uh, gigahertz operating frequency, the S11 value is minus 31.7 decibel and uh, and S22 value is at 2.4 gigahertz minus 33.83 decibel and S12 and S21 0 at 2.4 gigahertz from Mm, starting frequency to ending frequency S1 and S21 is 0 so this is S21 curve and this is S12 
So next observe the voltage standing wave ratio. So go to the results, right click on the results, go to create model solution data report, select rectangular plot, select the VSWR, VSWR1 and VSWR2. So uh, click the new report and this is the VSWR plot at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency. So mark the 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency. So at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency, the VSWR value is 1.05 and 1.04. So this is very good value. So uh, lambda by 2 micro strip transmission line, lambda by 2 micro strip transmission line is successfully designed and simulated at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency with FR4 substrate. Next observe the far field radiation patterns. So first select the infinite far field setup. So go to the radiation, right click on the radiation, Inf in inside far field setup, select infinite sphere. So now here a small mistake is there. Uh, so radiation boundary is not uh, assigned. So assign the radiation bond. Box is created, boundary is not assigned. So select the box. Select the box, right click on the box. Assign boundary. Radiation boundary. So radiation boundary successfully assigned. So now check the validity. Start the simulation. So, uh, this is S parameter curve. Okay. So now the S parameter value is updated. So at 2.4 gigahertz frequency, the S11 value is minus 39.7 decibel, and S22 value is minus 39.08 decibel, and VSWR value 1.02. So this is very good value. So the antenna is lambda by 2 microchip transmission line at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency with uh, FR4 substrate successfully designed and simulator. Next assign the, next observe the far field radiation patterns. Go to the radiation, right click on the radiation, select insert far field setup, infinite sphere. And the starting value is minus 180 to plus 180. And uh, theta value is 0 to 360. So press the OK button. So go to the results. Right click on the results. Infinite. Go to create far fields reports. Select radiation pattern. So gain radiation pattern in decibel. Select the family of the frequencies. Now where the all pi values are minus 180 to plus 180. So I am selecting some angles minus 182 minus 90 0 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 180 Select the new report and this is the gain 2D radiation pattern. Similarly, uh, uh, select the directivity radiation pattern in decibel. 
So this is the directivity radiation pattern. So 180 degrees, 90 minus 90 degrees, 0 degrees plus 90 degrees. So next observe the 3D polar plot. Go to the results, right click on the results. Uh, create, go to create for fields report, select 3D polar plot. So gain in decibel. Click the new report. So this is the directivity 3D polar plot. Uh, the directivity value is 0 0.5 and gain value is minus 8.1. So next observe the impedance plot. So go to the create model solution data report, select the rectangular plot and the jet parameter, support impedance jet naught, support impedance jet naught and observe the magnitude value. So click the new report. So the port impedance is 50 ohms. Next observe the jet parameters. So right click on the results, go to the create model solution data report, select rectangular plot, select the jet parameters. So select the jet parameters in uh, real part, imaginary part and magnitude value. So click the new report. So this is the uh, jet parameter plot. So mark the 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency. So the 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency. This is the real path and this is the imaginary path curve and this is the magnitude curve. So next observe the electric fields, magnetic fields, simulation, uh, visualization. First select the structures. So go to the create field overlays, plot fields, select vector electric field, all objects, click the done button. So these are the directions of the uh, electric fields from the and uh, select the animation So and observe the orientation and this is the top view. And this is the right view. And this is front view.
and the fourth fields and this is the fourth one fields so fourth one fields this is fourth two fields 